mother spoke not a single word to me today. Before long, I fear I might forget the sound of his voice. Please, sister, you weep and wail like a common girl. Show some composure. Father has a kingdom to rule, a kingdom engaged in a historic endeavor. He has more important duties than to pamper a spoiled child. I... yes, of course, brother. You speak as if father's duties include anything more than licking the boots of these dignitaries. It is inconceivable he cannot spare the time to break bread with his daughter. You speak out of insolence and ignorance, Roland. I speak only the truth. He leaves all the cumbersome tasks to the Wolforts and Minister Patriot. A king's word is to be obeyed. And what of his subjects? Do they exist simply to bring him glory? They are to serve as he sees fit. The hell they are. Believe as you wish. Speaking of his subjects, it appears Lordship of House Wolfort will be passed down to young Saranoa. What? How fortunate for you to have a friend in the new lord. Best not take loyalty for granted, however. House Wolfort is obedient enough for now, but that can change as quickly as the wind. Use them well when you can, but be ready to bring down your fist if they dare to rise above their station. Don't speak of them like lapdogs. They're not servants. They're my friends. Do you really think to lead with such a soft heart? You are not fit to wear the royal signet. Oh, stop this fighting at once. You frighten me. Enough of this. Where are you going, brother? To train with Sir Maxwell. I would clear my head. There is a tourney on the morrow, after all. wavers, my prince. Something weighs on your mind. You've always been able to see through me. It's no great feat. Your heart lies ever on your sleeve. Do I hear disapproval in your voice? Not exactly, my prince. It can be a weakness, yes, but it can also be your strength. After all, sometimes a direct strike is most effective at piercing a formidable defense. I will take those words to heart, Sir Maxwell. Thank you for today. The pleasure was mine. I expect a good fight from you tomorrow. In the final match, no doubt. I take the field with House Wolfort. Together, I have no doubt we can emerge triumphant. Ah, that would explain your improvement. Young Saranoa is a worthy training partner. Even so, I have no doubt you've held your own against him. Tomorrow you shall show the realm what I already know. That you are a warrior worthy of your family's legacy. Sir Maxwell, I... Sometimes I wish I wasn't a prince. Sometimes I wish I'd been born your son instead. Surely you jest, your highness. Your father is a great king, and an even greater man. It is an honor to serve him as I do. Apologies. I forget myself. I must have taken quite a blow. Anyhow, I suppose I should rest till the morrow. Be well, Sir Maxwell. It cannot be easy being the youngest prince. To have others expect nothing from you, yet still shake their heads in disapproval. But you can rise above this, my prince. Seize your chance and lay everyone's doubts to rest once and for all.
Now that's what I call a feast. You've landed quite the catch, Frederica. He is a good man. I can see it in his eyes. You are too kind, Lord Dragan. And humble as well. Are you impressed as I, Frederica? I can tell that your heart is pure and gentle, my lord. Lady Frederica... Forgive me if I caused offense. I thought only to return your sincerity and kind. No apologies are needed. I am happy to meet your approval. I... Thank you, my lord. <laughs> Words come so easily to the both of you. And a perfect match. Forgive my curiosity. What sort of life did Lady Frederica lead in Esfrost? Her life? Truth be told, my dear Serenoa, not a pleasant one. Those of Rosellen blood are looked down upon in Esfrost, even if they are the daughter of the Archduke's concubine. Gustadolf's full siblings are the worst of the lot. They have not a shred of human compassion between them. They cruelly bully the girl endlessly, regardless of time or place. Is this... True? Of course it is! I know Frederica's suffering all too well. My own father lived ever in the shadow of his elder brother. The former Archduke. Our house, too, is met with sneers by those who consider themselves our betters. But no more! I shall show all those simpering fops that it is not birth that makes greatness, but deeds. And so I did my due research at the Archives, that my grand invention shall blast our way forward! <laughs> Dragan, please. I believe you've had enough to drink. You can hardly blame me for availing myself of Glenbrook's finest libations. Brought by traders from the realm over. Each cask more exotic than the last. <laughs> Why, to not partake would be an affront to our newfound allies. Just make sure your head is clear for tomorrow. Or have you forgotten you're meant to be representing your nation? Mm, oh, yes, a, a ceremony to usher in a new age of harmony and prosperity. I am too young to have known the war, so I... I see our three nations joining hands more as a matter of expedience. But what of you, my kin to be? How do you see our grand cooperative venture? It is impossible to understand each nation's motivations. I can't say whether this bodes well. Interesting. You are the first I've spoken to to express such skepticism, and yet, <laughs> you may see more clearly than most. Like as not, it is a baseless worry. It is a lord's place to worry. We may at last share a common goal, but our motivations differ. The future is murky, no matter how brightly some may try to paint it. My new cousin has the intuition of a leader, I see. Or perhaps you're simply a worrywart. <laughs> In any event, it is always good to have another 
perspective on matters. Let me tell you what I believe. I believe we're on the cusp of a great achievement. As always, it is the young who must bear the burden of building the future. Hmm? Old shoulders are frail, old minds stubborn. Whatever lies in our future, those who make it will mark their names in history. And mine, mine will be written large for all to see! And I would write yours next to it, my dear cousin. Pray, come visit me at the mines once operations are underway, and I, I shall... Trigan, are you quite all right? Worry not, Frederica. I'm just a bit tipsy. Perhaps I should just lie. It would seem Lord Dragan has turned in for the night. Quite the passionate fellow, isn't he? He's never been one to hide his ambition, ever since we were little. Neither does he hide his disapproval of my brother and Trueborn siblings. Feelings which you share? I grant it would be satisfying to see the sneers of those who look down on me wiped from their faces. But I also agree with Lord Simone, that we must set our gazes to the future. Though I know not yet how I might best serve in this new age, I would do what I can. We are of the same mind in that regard, my lady. Let us ease the weight of each other's burdens. Please, call me Frederica. We are to be husband and wife after all. Of course, my... <laughs> Frederica. Pray call me Sarah Noah as well. Uh, we should carry your cousin to his chambers. Will you help me, Frederica? Certainly, Sarah Noah. Let us take care not to wake him, lest he resume his prattle. Benedict, hmm. I thought I might find you here. My lord. Did you tell her that Sarah Noah would soon be taking over as lord of our house? Forgive me, my lord. I did not think to... Save your apologies, Benedict. Doubtless she was overjoyed to hear it from you. Destra always did trust you above all her advisors. As do I. For 30 years, you have served my house better than I ever could have asked for. You honor me, my lord. My lord? <laughs> I suspect this will be the last night I will hear those. My lord, I will call for a healer at once. Uh, do not bother, Benedict. It will avail me not. You know as well as I how my heart now fails me. My lord. And so I entrust Sarah Noah to you. For our house. Pray heed this old man's final order. Certainly. I will live to serve your son until I breathe my last. Did you hear that, Destra? Our boy is in good hands. My old dear friend. Long have we stood together. I will not let you down, my lord. My beloved son, Sarah Noah, will oversee the matters of our house from this day forward. 
I expect you to serve him as dutifully as you served me. Of course, Lord Simon. I, my lord, our undying loyalty to House Wolfwood. My son, listen well. The Lord's judgment shapes the fates of his kin and subjects alike. Responsibility for their well-being now falls on your shoulders. You must lead them well. Yes, Father. I shall keep those words close to my heart. To that end, I require wise counsel. Together, you possess a wealth of experience. As Lord of House Wolfort, it is my duty to consider the best course from every perspective afforded me. I shirk not from this responsibility. At the same time, I would be a fool to not seek guidance from those more traveled than I. For my house and my people, I trust I can rely on you. Well spoken, my son. I dare say you are more than ready to receive this. The scales of conviction, a holy relic said to be blessed by the deities of old. It was gifted to our family by the King of Glenbrook. From this day on, I entrust it to you. However, it is of little use without these. Coins. Seven of them. Tokens of conviction, we call them. Give one each to only your most trusted retainers and allies. They will guide you when the path is darkest. Their words will illuminate the pitfalls ahead. Heed well the advice of your friends and subjects and choose your steps carefully. Such has been the way of our house and such you must see it always shall be. I will, Father. I shall treasure these gifts and make wise use of them in times of need. Very good. Now do your duty, my son. We await your orders, my lord. We depart for the capital at once. May this ceremony be but the first of many joyous occasions ahead of us. The House Lord!